This is the Helicon Tex Bandicoot Waste Pack. It retails for about $35 in the US. It's made out of Cordura. And it is the first waste pack I started with in my waste pack journey about close to two years ago. Um, so a little bit of backstory, I was having some intestinal issues and the doctor recommended I not use an appendix in the waistband holster anymore as it tends to push up on your intestines and the the belt that I was wearing was pushing on my intestines while I was sitting and that wasn't helping the issue out. So I'm trying to switch to a little bit of off the body carry with a waist pack so it's kind of in the same spot just outside of my clothes. Um, I wanted to try this one first. I know it's multi-cam, but I live in Eastern Tennessee and nobody gives a crap what kind of camo you're wearing and you just look like everybody else. So this is a great little pack. I'm gonna start right out and tell you I love this pack. Um, I think Helicon Tex does a, a fantastic job with their packs. They actually have a rat pack uh, that's only available in Poland right now and I can't wait until they bring it to the US because I want one really bad. But this is great. This is just over a year and a half, almost two years old. There is no wear um, on anything, the belt, on the Cordura or anything. And let me tell you, I have just thrown this in my truck, in the bed, in the back seat, on the floor in the back seat, on the floor in the passenger side. It just gets thrown around and there is no wear on it. That's, that's pretty awesome. I love when they're high quality like that. So I'll do a, a run through of all the features in a different set, but um, this, let me show you what it looks like on. Right, you can kind of wear it anywhere you like. I kind of like my packs here, uh, just above my right hip. That way if you go to the bathroom, you still have access and you don't have to be moving stuff around. I do see people wearing them here. I don't like this, it kind of bonks you right above the junk and it's not too comfortable. Uh, over here, either on the right hip or on the left hip, depending on what else you've got on or what's going on. I like that a lot. Um, this one right now is <laughs> just for my snake gun on the farm. Um, and I'll give you the reasons for that in a minute, but let's go over some of the features of this pack and we'll walk through it and I'll show you what it looks like and what we got going on here. Let me start by going over the most important feature in any waste pack, fanny pack, whatever you want to call it. This is the most important feature you're going to want to look for above and beyond anything, and it's probably not what you think. It is not the storage size, it is not the number of pockets, it's not what it's made out of, it is the waist belt. I promise you, having worn half a dozen of these over the last couple of years, I promise you this waist belt is the most important feature of any of these waist packs, okay? So this waist belt on here, right? Clearly you've got your nylon strap here, this one is double stitched in and then stitched on the end here to give you a couple of loops of material. You can kind of attach a mole thing or shove stuff in there. That's what I've done with it in the past. That's pretty good. You've got a polymer clip, just a standard type for the belt. It's very positive in there. And then on the other side, this one Again, it's stitched into the bag the same way here. So you've got these little Cordura wings on the side that just come off the main pack and it's stitched in to that. But on the Bandicoot, on this side, you've got this little hook that goes into a loop they've made on the end here. And you could take that right off. You could actually take the whole belt off if you take this clip out. That's pretty cool. You can tuck these. There's a little pouch here, which I'll get into later, but you can tuck these right behind there. And then you've got a little pouch. You could run a belt through here, like a war belt or just a regular pants belt. If you like that better, you can run that through the back instead. But I have found, even though it looks somewhat thin, this is probably my favorite out of all of the belt systems that I've tried in the last two years, this one on the Bandicoot is my favorite. And let me tell you why. This connection right here, the way that we have this looped in, 
so that you pull this to adjust the length. This does not adjust itself. You have to pull hard to get this to move. It does not, when you have this on, there is no way to make this looser. I can pull this as hard as I want. This is not gonna move. This is not gonna slip out of the clip. That is fantastic because let me tell you, that is the problem with every other waste pack I have tried. You put these on, halfway through the day, this thing is dangling below your nutsack. It's gotten so loose. And it does not do that on the Helicon Tex. Well done, guys. I love this. This is the best thing about this pack, all right? Now, let me move on from there because you don't wanna hear about the belt all day, but just let me tell you, this is the most important thing, I promise. All right, going in from there, we'll start right on the back here. You've got a little pouch on the back. There's a zipper on here. When you open that, you get a pretty generous pouch space in here. Now, this is going to be against you. So this is probably for stuff you might wanna keep out of view, um, put your keys or your wallet, or you know if you still use a checkbook in 2023, uh, you put a checkbook in there, traveler's checks maybe, whatever you wanna store in there. That will be against your body. That is gonna be almost impossible to see when you're wearing this. Let me flip it around here. So you can see the front of the pack. You've got this cool Helicon Tex little, I guess built-in patch, I would call it. You know, they've, got, they've sewn in their little mascot, which is a chameleon over a spear. That's really cool. I didn't want to put a patch on here because this is so cool. I just left it like that. But you could put patches here if you want. This is loop Velcro. All right, on the very front, you've got that same kind of zipper. Pull that open. I've got shot shells in here. Again, this right now is my snake gun pouch, so I've just got loose 410 shot shells hanging out in here. You could put quite a bit of stuff in here. It's a pretty big pouch area. You could fit quite a bit of stuff jammed in there. There's nothing in here. There's no Velcro. There's no internal pouches in this area. It's just one big open pouch. Your second pouch, let me spin it around again. This is your main pouch. You do have two zippers on this one. So you could open this from the middle if you wanted. I start from one side because for me, I take my left hand and jerk the pouch open so that I can reach inside with my right hand. This one just has my snake gun in it for right now. It is not in a holster yet because it's a double action revolver and I'm, there's nothing else in there with it. I'm not worried about the trigger getting pulled, but I do want to put a holster just to keep it in place. However, I just haven't had time to do that. On the back of the pouch here, you do have a Velcro wall. So you can put anything on here with hook Velcro that you want. You've got a little loop up here if you want to attach something. If you have one of those holsters that's just a, a polymer cover of your trigger guard and you want to, you know, tie that into here with maybe a piece of uh, <laughs> paracord. If you want to tie that in here with maybe a piece of paracord so that it rips off when you draw it out, you could do that. I've got some farm junk in here. Sorry, there's stuff from the chicken coop that worked its way in here. Um, you can see this is a generously sized pouch. If you expand it all the way at the bottom, you can fit a crap ton in here. I do not put anything in here because I have a handgun without a holster in here, so I don't want anything to interface with the trigger. So there's nothing in here right now. However, once I put a holster in here, I may put some more stuff in here. On the front side of this pouch, you do have a separate zipper enclosure. This has got netting in here, so it's breathable. You could put something in this netting here. There is no Velcro in that side though. And then on the bottom of the pouch, you've got these little wings on both sides. You could tie something in here if you want, um, maybe run like a pouch to put a tourniquet or something underneath the pouch on there if you want, tie this into other pouches, hang stuff from hooks, whatever you wanna do with this, those are available there. So, this is a really cool pouch. The one thing really that keeps this from being my favorite and it, why I want their rat pouch so bad, uh, there's just not enough built-in divisions. 
So, like I said, in this front pouch, it's it's just a an empty open pouch, right? There's no division for like magazines or multi tools or you know a hook to put your keys in here or anything. It's just a big empty open pouch. You've got one hook on the back here, um, and that's okay. And then you know the netting pouch on the other side, and that's really it. And I, I don't keep anything in here just because, you know, I have a handgun in here that just kind of sits in there and I don't want anything to interface with the trigger until I build a, a holster for it. Um, you, you would have a super tough time pulling this trigger through the pouch. So I feel that that's fairly safe, but I do want to put a holster together for this. I'm going to make one out of Kydex, but for right now it's fine how it is. Um, but there's no divisions in here there's no place to put extra stuff. So that's prevented me from carrying this as an EDC pouch. With my EDC pouch, I wanna have at least a towel. I, I carry a little microfiber hand towel with me everywhere. You wipe sweat, dry your hands off. Uh, you know, there's just a lot of uses for that. I always carry a towel with me. I always carry a couple spare magazines, my EDC, but I also like to put my keys in here and some other things. And so I don't wanna have to open this main pouch Right, so the only other storage in here, you've got this. I don't wanna open this main pouch at the cash register in Walmart or Target and expose my firearm while I'm checking out. So this pouch has to stay closed all the time unless it's an emergency. Unless I need that firearm, this pouch has to stay closed. Which leaves me with this smaller pouch up front with no divisions or anything built into it. So that's just a no-go for EDC. So that's why this became my farm bag. I throw this on my waist when I'm dealing with the chickens at night, when I'm going someplace that there might be rattlers or copperheads, such as upstairs in my garage where the rattlesnakes keep getting in and shedding their skins. Uh, anything like that, anything I, where I may encounter a snake, this has my snake gun. So I just throw this on my waist and I actually will wear this on the opposite side of my EDC gun, just so I have the snake gun on me and that's not a burden at all. So yeah, points, points against it for not having additional space up front. However, however, Helicontext has already addressed this. They already have something called the Rat Pack. It's a waste pack. It's slightly bigger than this one and it has all sorts of divisions in space and I can't wait to buy one and try it out because it looks fantastic. But this is great for what it is. For $35 to hold my snake gun, and it's something that I can throw in the truck, put on anytime I want, take off easily. I can sling it over my shoulder, you know, it, 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 wear, it stands up to all the wear and tear. Like I said, I've thrown this, just thrown it. It's just gone flying, and it is perfect. It is in perfect condition. It's a fantastic quality product. This might do good for something like I use it for, for on the farm. Um, in the US, this comes in a ton of different camo patterns. I bought Multicam, because it's my favorite cam, but they have all sorts of different camo patterns for this in the US. Not as much in Poland, but a lot in the US. $35, you know, I don't think you could get a better deal for a waste pack. And there you go. So that is the Helicontex Bandicoot waste pack. I love this thing. I wish it had just a couple more pouches and divisions in here to make it an EDC pouch. Like I said, they've already addressed that. They've got a pouch out. I can't wait to buy it and test that thing out. The belt on these is so important to just keep it where you want it instead of it smacking you in the junk later in the day because it has started to flop around. So fantastic pack, just not great at EDC maybe unless you were a minimalist carrier. If all you want in the pack, if you, you're gonna carry all your other stuff in your pockets and all you want in the pack is a firearm and a holster and an extra magazine, you could slap that easily on the Velcro in the back of this bag and you would be set. Um, for me, it's a little too little. I don't want all that stuff in my pockets. I want it in the pouch, right? If I'm gonna carry a kangaroo pouch out here, I want a little bit more stuff in that and a little less jangling around in my pockets. But it is a great bag. Uh, just not for me for EDC, but I will always keep this for my farm bag for my snake gun. I love it. 
35 bucks, like I said, you can't go wrong. It's super cheap, it's super high quality. Good job, Helicon Tex. Can't wait to review the Rat Pack too. Guys, thank you for all the likes and subscribes. Here at Seven Star Tactical, we're probably never gonna get monetized by YouTube. Let's face it, they don't like gun people. They don't like anything to do with guns. Probably even this bag video wouldn't get monetized because there's a gun in it. So thank you so much for the likes and subscribes. Anyway, um, I do have a channel that we started over on TikTok to try and just get more people here and that kind of works, but they ban all my videos on TikTok instantly. YouTube's a little more gracious with it, but they still have taken videos down. So I love that you guys you know, are, are watching the videos and giving the channel some attention. That really helps out a lot. Thank you so much. And uh, we will see you here in the next video. We're gonna do another waste pack. I'm gonna do a whole series of this right now. So see you soon.